So I have a lot of documents uh, in folders uh, which take up a lot of space and I want to put them on a drive so I have more space in my shelf and here is how Python helped me with that. I'm a minimalist person and in my shelf I have around 16 folders which are packed with documents. This takes up a lot of space which is needed otherwise, so I wanted to digitize as much as possible. So first of all I put down the general process, what needs to be done. Um, so first we need to scan the document, this is then stored in a folder on the computer. Um, then we would need to upload this document to the, to the drive, um, I chose Google Drive here. Um, in the Google Drive, I would like to sort them into four different folders. Um, and then we also would need to name the document. Um, I would go with the company name of the document and then the date of the document. Scanning and sorting these documents completely manual would consume a lot of time. So why not automating some of the steps with Python? Let's get started. So I had a look at what I need to do. So first of all, I looked which pr which steps I could automate here. And scanning the document is basically something I would need to do manually. Um, storing the file in a folder will be done by the scanner itself. Uploading document to the drive can be automated. I did some research here and I found a library called PyDrive. I'll link you the library in the description. I just set up the PyDrive here and followed basically this um, get starting guide. What you need to do here is to, you need to set up the API in your Google account and do the OAuth 2.0. And yeah, so basically I can now create if I execute my pi, create like a file, then I get a success message. Um, I get the file down here, which then outputs hello, which is the content string here. I integrated now that the file in my folder. So this is how the file looks if I scan a new document. So it's always prefixed with scans and then followed by a date. I integrated now that the file is actually actually renamed so that we only have the date in there, um, which is great because then we only have to add the company name later on. I also integrated a user input. So I have now a category this is currently doing nothing, so I choose one here and then as you can see the file is now renamed and the scans and underscore is cut off. Now I need to upload this file here into the correct folder. the function which is called upload to drive which as a as an argument has the new file path so here i check if the option is one two three four five so i added also a bank which i missed uh, previously and depending on the number here i am 
calling another function which is called search folder. Here I'm looking into the drive and search if this folder exists. If not, I'm currently only returning that it, this folder doesn't exist and I'm exi exiting the program here. So it returns the folder object here where I can enter the ID of the folder. Um, I enter this as within the create file function, then set the source file as the file to be uploaded. And after it's uploaded, I will remove the file from the scans folder here. And then I also print I'm finished and then the program exits by itself. So let's see if that actually works. All right, and it worked. And now I'm, I'm pre-selected builds here. So I assume now I'm uploading a bill. It's uploading it if, if we are lucky. There we go. We have the PDF file, PDF file in our builds folder. Um, and it's removed here. So this is actually working. This is how I solved the problem. If you have seen any improvements which could have been made, um, let me know them in the comments below since this was my first Python program. That's it for this one. Um, I hope you liked it and see you in the next one.